This is Chris from Scale. In this video, we're going to talk about expert mode. Now, expert mode is not something that we write or talk very much about. Generally, that's because it puts our users on a path to creating models that they won't be able to get to pass the face conformance process. And since we're trying to make sure our users have an easier path to conformance, we generally disable these features. Once you understand the potential impact of these features on your modeling process, we can enable them for you. Let's take a look at what they are. Let's switch first to the navigation mode of Phenom, and we'll look at the Create menu. Under the Create menu, we have three new options for you. One of them is Observable. Under the Logical menu, we let you create a new unit. And finally, there's this thing called Message. Now, Messages exist outside of the standard conceptual logical platform UOP models defined by the face technical standard. So we'll talk about messages in another video in the future. But for now, let's just focus on on creating new observables. So it is important to understand that the observable as the funding fundamental building block of our models has to be well defined. So let's make sure we give our observable a descriptive name. And we also want to make sure that we aren't just defining arbitrary observables that are sort of close to an existing observable, but it, it just doesn't quite have the feel that we like. So for this, let's create a new observable just called new observable. This isn't a very good descriptive name, and it really doesn't even tell us anything about the observable but I'm going to delete this as soon as we're done. OK. And we have to make sure that there's a good description because per the face technical standard, the observable is characterized by its name and its description. This is going to be our demonstration observable with a short lifespan. So we'll click Save. And you see that the new observable was successfully saved. If we navigate down through our data model to our observable package, we'll find that it has been persisted there. Well, as I mentioned, this isn't a very well-defined observable, so I'll go ahead and show you how to delete it. So double-click, we bring it up in our details page, click delete, and it's going to let you know that, hey, this is a permanent action. Now, if you have built some of your models using new observable, you might want to deprecate. So that way you can go back and clean up your model before you cause a problem. But we haven't used it. I'm going to go ahead and click delete, and now the model is completely content. The other thing you can do in expert mode is create a new unit. Now note, this won't tie your unit into a length or volume or any other type of unit of measure that we have defined in the face shared data model. Rather, this just lets you maybe get yourself unstuck if you're trying to model a concept like barrel. There are barrels defined in the shared data model, but maybe you need some other kind of barrels, not barrels of oil. Maybe you just need fish barrels. So define a new unit, give a really good description here, and then we'll click Save. Now notice there's an option to have transformation equations. And if you're using some of the other unit models in Phenom, we do provide transforms between all of the different related units of measure. However, we don't yet have that capability exposed to our users. And that's it. We've created a new observable and a new unit. The model won't pass conformance with any shared data model because these are two of the managed products that won't appear in the shared data models. So you will have to request that these are added to the shared data model by submitting the appropriate request to the FACE consortium. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna take a look at tagging.